do you or do you not collect contents of emails and Google documents? We store the data, but we don't read or look at G your Gmail. Do you have you access to them? Uh, as, a, as a company, we have access to them, yes. So you could. The AI revolution is scary and exciting at the same time, especially when fat cats like Google and DeepMinds are involved. Google, a king of internet services and products, is all set to conquer the AI world by investing heavily in the biggest and most well-known AI company named DeepMind. Both the companies worked unitedly and have already achieved innumerable milestones before. The fat cats are planning out something big and are all set to roll out one of the supreme secret projects to benefit society and people. We always have a notion that some jobs are possible only by humans with their intelligence and perfections, but this is not the case exactly. Every other day, both companies are walking miles to achieve new and unprecedented things. Google and DeepMind are on the radar of bursting something really big and astonishing. Hey AI lovers, welcome back to AI Science, where everything rolls around fascinating and latest news about AI and its interesting applications in the developing tech world. For all such news and updates, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you do not miss out on any of those crazy AI updates. That said, now let's get started. Google's supreme motto, don't be evil. We all are aware that Google had a famous motto since its start that said, don't be evil. This slogan appeared several times in the giant's code of conduct until it was amended. Even this was a widely known slogan in the Google world that resembled core values, trust and high standard ethics of the company. When did it happen? After functioning under the parent company Alphabet, Google almost dropped its mantra of don't be evil and switched to the new phrase that said, do the right thing. The code of conduct was amended and the entire content did not even mention this phrase once except the last line in the amended one. The last line in the code of conduct was, and remember, don't be evil, and if you see something that you think isn't right, speak up. This apparently states that the giant is shifting its interests and its priorities are evolving. All of us are reliant on Google and its crazy products, our entire lives revolve around it. With this said, the amendment could be petrifying and rousing. In the long run, Google might create a huge barrier for humanity's life. We don't know exactly if this Google's power and shift of interest will be utilized for good or evil. Let's try and connect some of the dots to figure out what exactly is Google plotting in its thrilling plans. Google acquiring DeepMind Back in 2014, Google acquired London-based artificial intelligence firm DeepMind, which is specialized and a key player in machine learning, advanced algorithm, and neuroscience space. The potential acquisition deal by Google was cracked for somewhere around $500 million, but worth more than it because of its crazy potential. Both the companies declared an acquisition deal, but did not clearly mention the terms and conditions of the same. However, after the deal, DeepMind asked to work as a separate entity, but under Google's supervision. DeepMind commented, that they have a new home in Google's research centers and this crazy partnership is going to bring wonders to Google's financial accounts. The cutting-edge artificial intelligence company DeepMind and internet king Google are actively working on several crazy projects and have together achieved milestones in the AI space. Gradually, Google became a leader in the AI world. With the help of DeepMind, Google can keep an eye on people's searching algorithms and their thought process behind the varied searches. If you remember, back in 2018, Google launched a commendable function demo called Google Assistant's duplex functionality which allows conducting a call on users' behalf. There were rumors that Google failed in this demo, but the essence is crazy technology behind the demo. Here comes the crucial twist. In the same year, Google signed a contract with a Pentagon for a project called Maven. It was about the analysis of drone surveillance footage. They also participated in the US defense meetings, which might further lead to DeepMind in some absurd project. Though many of its employees were unhappy with the deal and demanded for cancelling the partnership, almost around 3,000 employees filed a petition and tweeted to the CEO Sundar Pichai. Employees were worried about the fact that the US may go ahead and build weapons like drone attackers and other thrilling weapons that will be AI-enabled. According to Pentagon, they were working on some applications that will supervise on defense and military powers of the country to control terrorism by running algorithms. And accordingly, they are planning to make their country powerful based on the reports and analysis. Though the officials of Google exclaimed their role in Project Maven is non-offensive, but for the fact, their steps do not justify the same. Some of the other ways showcase their evil intentions behind the expansion of AI in different sectors like defense and militarism. Even the company was involved in creating AI tools for daily devices. All these Googles and DeepMind projects state that they are working on something more than AI. 
Recently, DeepMind is working actively on improvising the healthcare facilities and is studying the shape of protein strands in our body. They are accelerating in every industry where Google has not touched upon yet. They are trying to act like human beings and wanting to replace the activities done by humans. This quick pace is quite frightening and could be dangerous to humans in the coming AI era. We can already spot the grey area and Google's false representation of their acts justify it. Employees are not really happy with what Google is doing. They comment that Google is not as open as it was priorly. These steps are very similar to a shot film that was stolen back in 2019. It showcased Google is not only analyzing public data through its algorithms, but it's also exploiting the data and trying to control the behavior of individuals. This short film is called a selfish ledger theory, which easily helps to create a link between human behavior and Google's principles, such as environmental sustainability. However, this was just an idea that was diminished a few years back. If Google is still in its good part and not entering the evil world, it might also alter the idea of navigating through selfish ledger theory. Google is still into really good things and trying to spread technology like AI in different sectors like education, environmental related issues, and most importantly, in medicine. Will they change their objective? Google is such a powerful and a massive company that it's capable of thinking about what is good and what is bad for the public and themselves. They will do deep research and analysis before jumping into such scary sectors as, after all, they have a clear idea of what will be its after effects on the public, their company, and their relations with different stakeholders. Every new technology is embedded with something really good in it, but on the flip, they also come up with some flaws. If such super technologies are utilized, in varied and daunting sectors, it will surely be a problem to the public and the company in the long run, as these technologies and their applications in different sectors are boundless, which may rise in threats to human life and misuse can cost a lot. We already are aware of the AI-enabled weapons like Altius and others used in the recent war between Ukraine and Russia. It's not only Russia, but China and the US, as we saw, are also working in these fields to design such weapons for the war, and some applications might even harm the society. What is Google really into? The truth is still a blurred image for all of us. It could be Google is still on the good side of it and is constantly working on the objective of benefiting the public and society. They are not ignoring their mantra of don't be evil. If this is the situation, we have nothing to worry about. Though we cannot really ignore the other side of the page, where we tried connecting dots and came up with something thrilling. If Google is crossing its boundaries with the help of AI technology, it might give rise to a fearful situation and eventually be a problem for human beings as they are the ones to be exploited. What are your thoughts on Google and its expansion with DeepMind? Are they planning something scary? Do let us know your views in the comments below. And yes, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for all the news rolling around AI and its applications for the developing tech-enabled world. Do you like this video? If you enjoyed it, and click on the small bell icon to not miss out on any of the updates. That said, see you in the next video.